this will be still the same blade from before, the one blade that I sharpened in the video. Uh, I have since sharpened a few more, I think maybe four more that I've stored in my shed. But I think this one is still good. So I'm gonna wear this one out and then I'll put a new one on that I've sharpened. I did that about, I don't know, a month ago maybe, because I didn't want to, I felt like I needed to solidify that information again that I had learned on how to use it. I didn't want it to fade too far. So it was good, I felt good about using it and yeah, so just an update, just an update on that. Don't ever ask me about what I wear. My hat comes from the thrift store. <sighs> Glasses are from the dollar store or something. I never could dress myself as a kid and I still can't dress myself. I don't know why I find this so satisfying, taking all the bark off. This is in hemlock. Dang. This is tamarack. And I'm just remembering, oh. I'm just remembering how much I did not enjoy milling this last year. It caused so much buildup on my blade. Oh, I remember this now. That's why this was sitting there. Dang. I just all of a sudden I'm like, well, this bark. Yeah, it's like, and there's those same worms that are in the bark that um, are in the wood that's out at the, where I'm building the cabin. I don't know if I want to mill this. I'll try it, I guess. But if it's super gummy again, maybe that'll be a perfect time for me to try the pine saw and the dish soap. I still just have water in there. while you're waiting. Don't stop. Morning guys. Okay, so today is the next day and I didn't get to actually milling the log yesterday because of whatever, a whole bunch of, a variety of reasons and things that pull me away from working on things that I want to work on. Um, I didn't do anything other than getting the bark off of it. I will do what I can. I have a little bit of time this morning before I have to leave. I have about an hour 
before I have to leave, I'm taking both Clyde and Lenny to the vet today. And it's an hour away and it's kind of a long appointment for Clyde. Clyde has to get sedated for a, it's got a, a gum tooth issue. <clears throat> but I'll do what I can now. I did add some dish soap to the water tank, to the lubrication tank. And from what I can gather, people seem to suggest pine salt and like Dawn dish soap. So I don't have any pine salt here. So when I go to the vet, I will stop in at the grocery store and pick some up and add that as well. So this log is not a hemlock that's on there. I thought it was hemlock and that's why it's actually still sitting there and I didn't mill it last year is because I didn't want to go near it because it's a large tamarack, like large slash tamarack tree. And I had a heck of a time milling it last year. I just had so much buildup on the blade, like sap and just crud from the tree that it was not enjoyable to mill at all. I couldn't, nothing I did seemed to get rid of that sap. So I'm, it's on here, I'll give it a go. I'll get as far in as I can before I have to leave or if it's really gummy before, or if it's really gummy early on, then I'll wait to get the pine saw. But let's just see how far I get with it now. 10-4, good buddy. doing not too bad with the sap buildup, but all of a sudden it's uh, quite <laughs> gummy on there again. But I also wasn't using it, I was also wasn't using the lubrication full on, so it looks like I will have to, it's kind of bad, you can tell. I'm gonna quickly run this through with the uh, lubricant on with the next cut and see if I can't get this off. Before it, was, it wasn't going too, too bad. I've got my cant now. So I, now I just have to figure out how I'm gonna divvy this all up between rafters, roof boards, and a little bit of five by five. These are kind of scabby, um, but I can trim them down and still use them. I cut them at five eighths of an inch thick, which I believe is what the rest of the boards are for the roof. And this is always just good as some backup stuff. So I did one more pass through with the uh, lubrication on full and it's still kind of, you know, it's not good. It's not great. It's a little bit better, but you can see, I think you can see on here how it cut. Not good. <laughs> and it was like dipping a little bit here, I think. So I'm going to change the blade. of trying to mill this log. <laughs> so I put some pine saw in with the uh, lubricant and so there's dish soap and pine saw mixed in with the water so and a brand new blade not brand new out of the package but freshly sharpened one that I sharpened on my sharpener 
So I think the difference will be maybe the combination of what I have in the lubrication tank plus running the lubrication all the time. But yeah, so far I just am not a fan of milling this type of wood, I guess. I probably won't do it anymore because it's just a pain. But um, we'll try this out. I have the cant ready to go. It's, I don't know, nine by eight and a half, like nine inches, something by eight or eight and a half this way. So the only thing, so I just have to divvy this up now. It's a little bit of kind of crap stuff there. Um, the only thing is I don't think I'm going to try and get any five by five out of there because I really only need like three feet or less of the five by five to put on the back of the cabin for the overhang and to try and get that out of that plus get rafters and roof boards just doesn't really make sense so I probably will just put something smaller like something four feet uh, whatever the minimum I can take on there which I think is 42 inches and I'll mill that for the five by five. So I'm just gonna use this for rafters and roof boards. I think I'm just going to cut down here. So my rafters are, I think I cut them at five and a half inches, kind of like a two by six. Five and a half by whatever. They varied, I think from an inch and a half to an inch and three quarters. And there might've been the odd two inch wide one because the width doesn't technically matter, I guess. Um, so if I cut down here five and a half, I do think that they shrunk to five and a quarter. So my thing was like, do I cut these to sh so that they'll shrink? Cause there's going to be some variation now within the lumber, but that's okay. So I'll cut them at five and a half. So I'll just cut this big chunk off, use this for rafters and I can get about one, two, three, four, plus a roof board in here. You know, I can get whatever. I didn't really do the math exactly, but I can get about five five, maybe six roof boards out of here. Same clothes, but I promise I shower and I change my underwear. I totally screwed up. I got sidetracked and I milled another roof board from that piece I took off, which was supposed to be rafters. So I have to reorientate the, the chunk of wood to now accommodate. I cut off the five and a half, so it's like less than five inches now, um, which is okay. I'll still get some rafters out of there. I just, yeah, I was cursing about the wood. I don't like it. I'm definitely not milling it again, but so anyway, I gotta flip this around and start over. It's kind of crappy too. There's a lot of, there's actually a quite a bit of rot there. I might be happier with the Phil and Buster's urine soaked wood. I'm hot and bothered. So I have a good amount of stuff. One, two, three, four rafters. It's kind of, might have to check things there. It looks like things are cutting off. Unless that's, that could just be because of the blade with the buildup on it. But the five and a half 
As long as it's close, <laughs> I'll accept it. But yeah, it's a good start. I'll find something else that's small enough to put on for the little 5x5 five five pieces. I just trim the live edge off that stuff. Okay, so I have this stuff just, it's not stacked properly, but I've swept all the sawdust off and just have it sitting here in the carport for a few days before I take it out to the cliff location but there was one more thing I wanted to show you guys for the cabin and it's a special window. Hi little Len. Hi little Len. Hi little Lenny. We'll show you this special little guy too. He's just so cute. Best little doggy ever. Little Lenny. Hi little Lenny. Hi little Lenny. Hi Clyde. Hi Clyde, Clyde's feeling better today. Okay. There is this window. So I bought this window. It is, it, it's well over a hundred years old from what I'm told. And it came from the UK. And that window is gonna go in the south facing, so the back of the cabin at the gable end. I'm going to put that window in there. I thought that would be kind of a nice kind of cool feature. Um, it's either that size or there was one that was like quite a bit bigger but that was kind of the only size of one that I could really get or unless I needed to go really big and I thought uh, too big was too much for that small cabin. So what I'm going to do with this window is I'm going to actually frame it out more. Either I'm going to do it or I'm going to get a friend to do it just to save me some time. Um, and then add a pane, a single pane of glass to the outside of it to protect it. And then in case that single pane of glass um, with the other wood frame that's going to go around this. so. It's kind of exciting. It was a bit expensive. It was like five, almost $500. Hi Clyde. Hi Clyde. Um, so definitely like a splurge on that cabin, which has really not cost me hardly anything, but I think it'll look really cool. So that is it for, for this video. And um, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Say bye Clyde. Bye Clyde. Bye there. I think he gets a thousand kisses a day. Hi buddy, your camera shy. It's mostly gone. You had a little bit of spaghetti, Len. Could you get some spaghetti? Oh, it's all good. Little Len Len? Little Len Len? Hi.